Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. And this is the first half of April of 2023 spiritual advice reading. Now, for this reading, I've been guided to the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason. And I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Virgo needs to hear this information most. Spiritual advice, please, for the first half of April of 2023. Wow, so right at the beginning of April, we have this beautiful lady energy. This is the epiphany of I love what I do. I love what I'm creating day to day. Ah, but in some cases, we have some Virgos here who may be thinking about making a change. Now, we do have uh, this Knight of Swords looking over at the Lady, wanting to create change or wanting to communicate uh, about something here. Let's see. Okay, shoot. In the relationship sector, we have uh, Devil-type energy. We have uh, someone who... <clears throat> maybe should not be trusted at this time. They may be dealing with some form of addiction. Now in the creative aspects position, we have the beautiful and popular Wheel of Fortune. Perfect. So you have the ability, male or female, as the lady, to give birth to forward movement in your life? How are you going to turn the proverbial wheel of fortune in your favor? How are you going to not go backwards and repeat unhealthy situations, connections, and circumstances because you have evolved spiritually? Yes, finding diplomacy in the actions position. The seven of swords, it has to do with communication regarding someone around you. So Virgo, uh, you may feel as though someone doesn't see things from the same perspective, and that's just fine. It doesn't make someone a bad person. It just means that they don't want the same thing. You may be causing your own fear uh, that someone doesn't see things from the same perspective, and that's why you're thinking about some form of change in connection to another. Well, we do have the skills card in the emotional aspects position. As always, Spirit's saying, as you set and meet goals, as you apply your unique talents day to day, that is what's going to ground you emotionally. That's what's going to bring you uh, contentment uh, when it comes to who or whatever is in your thoughts here. So Knight of Swords could be a younger, late teens, early 30s, Air type energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or just someone uh, who, you know, is maybe having a tough time. Look at that. Subconsciously, we have the tower as a major arcana. So there could be a realization here if there hasn't been already before the beginning of April of 2023, Virgo. Uh, we do have the number 15 here. Spirit trying to guide you to create a foundation, but to also make sure that you turn that proverbial wheel of fortune forward for yourself by applying your skills and talents by focusing on your accomplishments there could very well be by mid-april a shocking realization that someone hasn't been honest or that you just aren't seeing things from the same perspective well we do have the seven of discs in the day-to-day -day aspects position so this is connecting with others and uh, planning how you're going to move forward into a path of greater abundance and money. Spirit saying you can turn the wheel of fortune in your favor during the first half of April of 2023, uh, Virgo, if you'll just continue to build upon your ideas, your projects, your skills, your talents. Yeah, there's someone around you that maybe doesn't see things from the same perspective. Maybe they don't understand your skills and your talents, uh, but you do, right? Spirit's giving the collective Virgos the strength in the inner strengths position to sacrifice who and or what uh, doesn't serve you because it's blocking a new doorway from opening up a financial and abundant, stable direction 
whereby the wheel of fortune turns in your favor. So sacrifice, maybe this desire to find a balance with someone. It's kind of a message to let that go. Let yourself kind of observe someone at a distance from a distance during the first half of April and let them kind of unfold before you while you focus on your own skills and talents. Yeah, at the beginning, we have King of Cups energy in the moon representing Pisces. So there could be a Virgo who is thinking about someone who has Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in their chart. This could also be like, I'm finding hope. I'm trying to find hope in relation to someone in hopes that no matter what their sign is, that they are uh, emotionally balanced, loving, kind, and so on. I feel like not only is someone coming towards you very playfully, uh, but they're coming in with some passion here. Maybe someone did, and you've recovered from that, which is great. Now, if you, again, are focusing on business, skills, talents, and so on, Spirit's saying keep on keeping on when the Nine of Wands shows up because success is right around the corner. Attention and recognition could come your way, and then you can abandon the nostalgic thoughts of the past. Someone's conflicted about a new path in love, husbandry energy. But look at this. It's important that you figure out, am I completely fulfilled in this connection, this direction via this person? Because there, if there are, and there will be for some, the Four of Cups energies of discontent, right? Uh, this is like, am I receiving what I desire or not? Am I receiving an empty cup of love, an empty offer? So there is this great strong energy that's building for you Virgos in the first half of April, where you feel the warrior energy, you know, you've got your sword to maintain your boundaries, you got that leather on, and now you are recognizing that spirit's helping you with the major arcana, the high priestess, to manifest with the uh, initiation card, a new path for yourself. I love this initiation card because it shows the other paths and experiences and connections you've chosen in the past. And now it's like you're back to center. And the high priestess energy is the ability to recognize what spirit's trying to tell you via your intuition, uh, what action steps to take. There's slow moving energy in a time of observation. Hmm. Wanting to go on an adventure. Now, if that has to do with money, definitely go do that. If you have an opportunity to share your skills or talents, go do that. That will grow and prosper this year. Now, by mid-April of 2023, Virgo, we have the delusion, energy, and the suffering. So Spirit's really trying to help someone to recognize that if something unexpected, some form of truth comes in, and it might come quickly and unexpectedly, you have the strength to sacrifice anything that causes the Nine of Swords of suffering, anxiety. Because Spirit's saying with the Seven of Cups, there may be some fantasy and illusion or delusion here. Yes, let go of old regrets and trust that just like many of the other signs, spirits offering the major arcana of the green man uh, or the full energy to now manifest a, a greater path of abundance and stability. Yeah. Who or what should I build into this web of my life? For spirits guiding you beyond difficulties with the major arcana, the chariot as well, to, uh, towards a path of success, right? So that spirit can help with the magical number seven to guide your efforts into and through some form of doorway to triumph. So the wheel of fortune with spirit's assistance can now turn in your favor. Okay, so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the... Gypsy Oracle deck. Closing messages, please, for whichever Virgo I'm reading for during this general reading. Okay, so we have a, a lady at the center who's focused on for misfortune, right? What didn't work out? What might not work out? And Spirit saying in the thoughts position. If someone comes in uh, and kind of is a little bit swift and intense, the consolation energy is about waiting for someone to throw you the proverbial bone, right? So there are thoughts already at the beginning of April for someone here uh, that you're not getting much from someone. And here we go. Love in the relationship sector with the devil. 
Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we go. It comes down to decisions with the thought cards. So Spirit's saying, give yourself some time in the first half of April to really think about, am I going to go backwards with the Wheel of Fortune and relive some form of karma? Or am I going to turn the Wheel of Fortune in my favor and apply my skills and talents to creating tr triumph for myself? So Spirit's saying, if need be, you have the conversation card. Uh, it, you could find... Uh, diplomacy through a conversation with someone here you can get to the truth and then sacrifice who or what does not serve you yes because it's through your skills and your talents and the researching of something here that's going to bring you into connection with this pleasure seeker energy this is, I'm having a good time with my life. I love my life. I'm having conversations with new people because I have acknowledged the misfortunate situations in the past regarding love. Or this is a single person who's saying, I'm over that. I'm ready to have new conversations. I'm going to go out and practice my skills and my talents and connect with others because we have the Pleasure Seeker card. Now, the Pleasure Seeker next to the Misfortune card can sometimes be a realization that someone was just out to have a good time. And that's fine, right? Then you just need to sacrifice that. So subconsciously, we have the priest showing up. Um, and this has been a popular card lately, that priest. Uh, I have the ability when something unexpected transpires via a conversation that someone was out to have a good time and they didn't want the same thing. So now I see the truth. Now I can take the lesson with the old woman energy, male or female. I can recognize what the lessons were of the past and trust with the magical number seven, that spirit saying whatever I put my skills and talents into at this time will not only turn the wheel of fortune in my my favor, but it will help for me to uh, self-love, to connect with people who are devoted to the love of myself. Interesting. So yeah, there could be some tempting communication with a letter card in the inner strengths position and the sacrifice card. So spirit saying uh, there could be a conversation that brings this energy of indecision regarding that communication and maybe even a realization that something isn't so fortunate. But that means that right around the corner, there could be and is for many a soul connection that's right. So if one thing isn't working out, don't get caught up on that, right? Because that negative energy and the focus on that will prevent you from moving forward into the direction of something so, so, so much better. Wanting to research a situation, home, money, joyfulness, waiting, sighing in awe that the cheerfulness came through a playful situation. But now I don't know if I want to have a reunion. So I'm waiting and I'm realizing that someone has the thief energy. So I need to tell them I'm ready for a deep commitment. Yeah, Take off that blindfold, lift your head, because in both the hope card and the sorrow card, your head is down, spirit, saying lift your head and go into the direction of a conversation, right? If need be, we've got the conversation card in the actions position, and now we have the messenger card. Uh, you could very well have a conversation quick and easy uh, with the doctor energy. This is someone who wants someone to care, give, provide support, help them. But then there's this realization of falseness and misfortune. So when it comes to passion and the death card, I'm bringing an end to one situation and I'm going into a direction of creativity, finance, career that makes me feel stable and secure. Now we do have a new beginning or a situation involving a masculine with a Lord card. And the child card, uh, they may have a child or children. Someone may show back up from the past if they haven't already by the first half of April of 2023. For some, it could show up around mid-April of 2023. But Spirit's saying, avoid falling into this, right? This is a prison of despair. Some are getting frustrated in the first half of April because they want the gift. They want what they want, what they want it. But Spirit's saying, as soon as you recognize that someone's walking in their ego, it is time indeed to recognize an ending. Look at that. I wanted faithfulness from the enemy. And they're showing up to have just a good time. Okay. Which is fine as long as you're aware. 
and if that's what you want. If not, there's so much better in the direction of your skills and talents at this time. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way or you would just like your own personal reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the, or now offering the spring special, if you're interested in that, that will be in the box below as well. I just want to say a big thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Uh, to those of you who have come to me for month-to-month -month readings, to those of you who have gifted these readings to others, uh, to those who have attended the live Zoom cast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you so very much for those donations as well. Take care. And God bless.